हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बीजे दवे लेक्चर इन इंग्लिश वर्किंग एट गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक जूनागढ़ डियर फ्रेंड्स द सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश हैज बीन ऑफर्ड टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ डिप्लोमा इन फर्स्ट डिप्लोमा फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ गुजरात टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डील विथ डिटर्मिनर्स दिस टॉपिक आई विल बी डीलिंग इन टू पार्ट्स uh what uh, what are determiners uh different kinds of determiners uh their uses and in the second part we will be dealing with some exercises so at the end of uh these two lectures uh you will be able to define determiners and list determiners how many determiners are actually there in english thereafter you will be able to know the uses of different determiners you will also understand the difference between given pairs of determiners for example you will be able to understand the difference between the uses of article a and n or article a or n and the indefinite uh, articles and definite articles moreover you will be able to use a correct determiner in a given sentence first of all uh, we will know what do we mean by determiners a determiner is a word that usually comes before a noun and determines or specifies the meaning of that noun as the word itself suggest the name itself suggest determiner means it determines something it in uh, to put it very simply it decides something what does it decide it decides uh, the meaning of a noun which comes before it so in that way we call them determiners now we will have some examples of determiners the best book here the word the is a determiner because as per the definition uh, given above it specifies a particular book which book you are talking about i am talking about the best book the best book written by chetan bhagat for example <clears throat> next his friend whose friend you are talking about when we use this particular word his before the noun friend we determine about which friend you are talking next that man which man you are talking about i am talking about that man that man for example standing over there that man for example standing under the tree that man for example who is talking on his mobile phone so this particular word that it points out which man somebody is talking about and in this way it is a determiner it determines the status of man next every teacher which teacher you are talking about i am talking about every teacher so this particular word which i have put in bold and also i have underlined it is a determiner because it specifies which teacher is being talked about so in all these examples which i have given the words that has been written in bold or the words that has been underlined they are said to be determiners the his that every all these words in these phrases they are known as determiners because again they determine the meaning of a noun before which they are used they determines or specifies their meaning another example some cars about which cars you are talking about i am talking about some cars so this particular word sum it specifies the number of cars that a person is referring to some cars are very costly some cars are very luxurious 
so in these two examples the word sum is a determiner it determines the meaning of the word cars i think friends now you understand what do we mean by determiners as we have defined them and uh, from the examples you can uh, i i hope that you have understood uh, what is meant by them <clears throat> in the next slide we are going to uh, list uh, determiners first of all articles articles a and and the though we popularly know them or call them articles basically in grammar they are known as determiners demonstratives demonstratives like this that these those all of them are determiners this boy that girl these computers those cameras in these examples all these words this that these and those they are determiners possessives possessives like my our your his her their etc they are also known as determiners to be very specific we call them possessives because they show possession whose book my book whose car is it it is our car whose camera is it it is your camera whose lecture it is it is his lecture whose turn it is it is her turn so these are again determiners next distributives the words each every either neither they also come under the category of determiners specifically we have given the name distributives to them because they uh, suggest distribution each each student every student either teacher neither students so in these examples each every either neither they are determiners next quantifiers quantifiers like some any all no much many etc they are also said to be determiners why do we say them quantifiers here because they show quantity of course they do the work of a determiner they determine the meaning of a noun before which they come but additionally they show quantity of something some some boys some apples etc any any apple to be more specific uh, did you buy any apples today so any here is a determiner all all lectures were very good here the word all is a determiner no no i don't want it no i don't have any book this particular word no is a determiner which shows quantity much how much time will it take to finish the assignment so the word much is a determiner many how many students were present in the last lecture the word many shows quantity and does the work of a determiner so generally we all uh, we uh, call them call all these item that you show uh, that you see in this particular slide, uh, side as uh, determiners further interrogatives interrogative words like whose what which etc they are also determiners which pen which boy which student were you talking about the word which comes here before the word student student is a noun and which determines its meaning that's why all these words they are known as determiners and they are also known as interrogatives because they ask about the status of somebody or something now friends one by one we will discuss the determiners that we have seen in the last slide first of all we are going to discuss articles let us know about the types of articles 
first of all in english there are two articles specifically they are a or n a or n is called the indefinite article because it refers to an indefinite person or thing before which it is used here the word indefinite is important indefinite in other words uncertain article a or n is used before a noun which is uncertain about which we are not much certain about which we do not know much thing for example call a boy which boy any boy i i say any boy i am not very certain call a pun which pun should i call should i call a pun from the civil department should i call a pun from mechanical department no i am not specifying you can call any pun a pun means any pun so in this way these two articles they are known as indefinite articles here as we have seen in the example of any pun the meaning of a or n is any any means uncertain any means indefinite any program any computer a computer means any computer can i have a computer can i have any computer can i have a pen any pen etc here you can see the example on the slide call a doctor which doctor you are uh, talking about call a doctor means call any doctor i am not saying that you call my family doctor you uh, you call a doctor who is md in physician any doctor will do call a doctor means any doctor article a or n is known as indefinite article next article the the is called the definite article because it points out some particular person or thing here the word definite is important because when you use the word the before any noun it specifies it it makes it certain unlike a or n here the meaning of the is a certain or a particular person or thing for example when i say call the doctor here the doctor means a specific doctor for example my family doctor call the doctor should i call any doctor no i am talking about a particular doctor i am talking about my family doctor that is what i mean when i say call the doctor next it also comes to our mind when we are talking about article which are one kind of determiners we should also know when should uh, uh, at which place should we put them what should be the position of an article in a given sentence generally an article is used before a noun in a sentence we use article before a noun a boy boy is a noun we will put article a before them the doctor we will put article the before doctor which is a noun further if an adjective comes before a noun the article is placed before the adjective my friends you should uh, have some knowledge of adjective what is an adjective adjective is a word which adds to the meaning of a noun so when adjective is there and adjectives they are generally used before noun so the question comes where should we put the article so the answer is when both noun and adjectives are present in a given sentence we should use article the before the uh, we should use any article either a or n or the before adjective and not before a noun here you can see the examples in a slide a room room is a noun we have put the article a before the noun in another example you can see a spacious room the word room is a noun but the word spacious is adjective what kind of room or what type of room it's a spacious room so spacious is an adjective of the word room 
So when adjective is present before a noun, we should put article or before adjective. Next uh, example, the house. House is a noun. We have put the word. Uh, we have put the article the before noun. The beautiful house. What kind of house or what type of house? Beautiful house. House is a noun. Beautiful is adjective. The beautiful. The comes before the word adjective, which is beautiful. So I'm sure uh, you can now understand when should uh, uh, where should we put the article or what should be the position of an article. In the next side uh, slide, we are going to learn about different uh, about the use of the indefinite article. When should uh, we use the article A or when should we use the article N? So, in order to understand the use of article A or N in a sentence, we should have a knowledge uh, uh, where uh, in which circumstances we should use them. So, the choice between A or N depends on the initial sound of a word and not its spelling. Remember friends, I say again, I re-emphasize, we have to take care of sound of a word and not say its spelling. And I say initial or beginning sound of a particular word is taken care of, is taken into consideration while choosing between the article A or N. Therefore, to use article A or N correctly, it is necessary to understand the difference between consonant and vowel sounds. In the slide that you are uh, watching now, in the first uh, sentence I have written initial sound. So we should have a knowledge of uh, sounds, particularly to understand uh, whether to use article A or N. So what kinds of sounds are there? So there are two kinds of sounds consonant sounds and vowel sounds. When the word begins with a vowel sound, we should use article N before that. When the initial sound of a word is a consonant, we should use article A before it. So here we should understand the difference between consonant and vowel sounds. Now let us understand vowels. Vowels are voiced sounds made with the mouth open. I repeat, vowels are voiced sounds made with the mouth open. Here you can see the example. Again remember my friends, you have to take care of the sound of a word and not its spelling. Hear the sound. A, A, I. These sounds are vowel sounds. These sounds are made with the mouth open. E, E sound, E sound, or I sound. These are vowel sounds again. The sound I, E, or I. Again, they are vowel sounds sound o a or ow again vowel sounds made with the mouth open and the sound u u sound is also a vowel sound not u or y but the sound u sound or a sound for example in umbrella the spelling of umbrella is u m b r e w l, -L a but as we have said earlier, we do not have to take care of the spelling of a word, but we have to take care of its sound. The initial sound of umbrella is a uh, and that's why it's a vowel sound and before a word beginning with a vowel sound, we will make use of article n. <clears throat> now let us understand consonants or consonant sounds. What do we mean by them? Consonants are sounds blocked by the tongue, teeth or lips 
दे कैन बी वॉइस्ड और अनवॉइस्ड रिमेंबर फ्रेंड्स वॉवल साउंड्स वॉवल साउंड्स आर मेड विद द माउथ ओपन वेर एज कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर ब्लॉक्ड बाई द टंग टीथ और लिप्स एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर ब म फ र क एट्सेट्रा ऑल दीज साउंड्स दैट आई हैव जस्ट स्पोकन दीज आर साउंड्स दे आर ब्लॉक्ड आइदर बाय द टंग टीथ और लिप्स एंड दैट्स वाई दे आर नोन एज कॉन्सोनेंट्स there is one consonant which is pronounced with the mouth open and no blockage but it is on voice the h sound the examples of these uh, this h sound is honest the word begins with h o n e s t but we pronounce it as honest here the word h remains silent so we will go or we will follow the sound and not its spelling as the pronunciation is honest as the initial sound is o which is a vowel sound we will put article n before honest an honest man an honest worker an honorable person all these sounds are again vowel sound again see the word h e i r here the pronunciation is air and not hair had the pronunciation been hair then we will put article a before it but the pronunciation is air and not hair h remains silent over here and that's why again before h e i r air we will put article n before it to make it very clear let me give you some examples of the use of article aorn aorn is used before singular countable nouns again let me repeat the article a or n is used before singular countable nouns it is never used before plural nouns for example a table table means a table means one table again table ta sound is a consonant sound and that's why we will put article a before it an apple apple is a singular noun and that's why we have chosen article n before it and out of or n we have chosen article n because in the word apple the initial sound is a and a sound is a vowel sound and that's why article n next a paper a paper paper is a singular noun it's a countable noun one paper two paper you can count and the initial sound of paper is pa pa sound is consonant sound and that's why article a a pen again pen singular countable noun you can count the pens here pen it doesn't have s or es suffix uh, in the end and that's why is a singular noun countable noun and before it we put article a because it's a consonant sound next a or n is never used before a plural noun or an uncountable noun for example it is incorrect to say a computers because the original meaning of article a or n is one it is incorrect to say a computers because computers is a plural noun and we never use article a or n before it further n tractors or a tractors it is wrong to say a tractors because tractors is a plural noun a milk milk is an uncountable noun it cannot be counted and that's why it is incorrect to say a milk now let us see the example of article n first of all let us make it clear when should we make use of article n 
Article N is used in the following cases before words beginning with an open vowel which is sound as as open. Let me repeat. Article N is used before words beginning with an open vowel which is sounded as open. So again, take care of the sound and not the spelling of a word to decide which article to use article A or N. See the, uh, see the examples for your clarity. An almond, the word almond, singular countable noun begins with vowel sound a sound vowel sound made with the mouth of an that's why article n an enemy enemy a sound vowel sound article n an ink pad here the initial sound of the word is e the word e uh, the sound e is pronounced with the mouth of an and that's why article n an iPod initial sound is a iPod a a is a vowel sound and that's why article n an umbrella the initial sound of the word umbrella is a vowel sound made with the mouth open and that's why article n next example object word object begins with o sound o sound vowel sound made with the mouth open that's why article n in the next example university is there generally it is believed that when a word begins either with a or e or i or o or u we have to put article n before it but it is wrong again and again i have said you that we don't have to see the spelling of a word we have to see its initial sound in the word university or university the sound is y and y sound is not a vowel sound it's a consonant sound u u sound consonant sound and that's why article a a european though the word begins with e we have to see the sound the sound of european is u u sound is a consonant sound and that's why article y that's why article a next a one man show again one man show the word begins with o but look at its sound the sound is w and not o and that's why article a will be there because v is a consonant and not a vowel and that's why article a will be put over there see the further uses of article n and its examples article n is also used before words beginning with a silent or aspirated h example to make the thing more clear n R, H O U R. Here the word R. In the word R, H remains silent. We pronounce it as R, and R sound is a vowel sound, and that's why article N will be there before the word R. Next, an honorable person. Honorable person. O, O sound. It's a vowel sound and that's why article N. Uh, article N is used before consonants which are pronounced with the sound of an open vowel. Here the word Mphil is there. But if you look at its sound, it is an open vowel. Though it looks like a consonant, but it is an open vowel. A sound, Mphil, A sound. And that's why article N, FRCS. See the sound, A sound of FRCS. It's an open vowel, and that's why article N, N S P, S P A sound, open vowel, and article N will be there. Here are examples of article A. A banana, 
ब साउंड कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड दैट्स वाई आर्टिकल अ अ यूनिफॉर्म य साउंड कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर्टिकल अ अ वुमन व साउंड कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर्टिकल अ अ हाउस ह साउंड कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर्टिकल अ अ यूनियन य साउंड कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर्टिकल अ अ वन रुपी नॉट वन रुपी नॉट सी द साउंड व एंड नॉट ओ व साउंड कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर्टिकल अ इन अ हरी वी ऑफन मेक यूज ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन आई एम इन ए हरी स हरी ह साउंड कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर्टिकल अ अ हैड एक अगेन हैड एक बिगिन्स विथ कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड ह साउंड कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड आर्टिकल अ here let me make it make, uh, make it clear uh, the uses of article a or n or rather what do we mean by a or n when we uh, use them in different sentences usually article a or n is used to mean any or one the original meaning as i have said you earlier of a or n is one another meaning of article a or n is any see the example a child should obey his teach uh, a child should obey his parent which child you are talking about a child means i am talking about any child it is applicable to any child a child any child call a student a student means any student maybe a student of mechanical engineering may be a student of first semester may be a student of last semester call a student call any student 100 meters make a kilometer here the meaning of a is one in another words we can say 100 meters make one kilometer a kilometer means one kilometer give me a pen and a paper give me one pen and one paper here the meaning of a uh, is one again this means that a or n is used only before a singular noun because of its meaning and its meaning as we know it very well is one that's why it can never be used before plural nouns or uncountable nouns a uh, further uses of article a or n a or n is used in expressions involving a quantity price speed etc for example a few doctors we often say a few doctors we often say a lot of apps a lot of apps are available 100 kilometers an hour so it shows speed of a car or a bus 100 kilometers an hour now we have seen the uses of article a or n in detail now let us go to the uses of article the the is used before both singular and plural nouns as well as uncountable nouns here mark it very clearly unlike a or n article the can be used with both singular and plural nouns as well as uncountable nouns means those nouns which cannot be counted examples the cooling fan fan you can count it's a singular word we can use article the before it the monitors monitor countable noun it is here in plural form we can use article the before it the oil oil is an uncountable noun we can use article the before it the is also used before a particular person or thing or the person or thing already referred to this is the most widely used example of article the let me repeat article the 
is also used before a particular person or thing or the person or thing already referred to from the example it will be very clear what do i mean by particular person or thing see the example the girl in white is very sincere somebody may ask me which girl you are talking about so i specify i make the girl particular the girl in white the description of a girl comes after the noun so i am making it very particular very specific so many girls for example are standing under the tree but there is only one girl who is dressing in white so about that particular girl i can point out to that particular girl the girl in white is very sincere particular girl the bus by which I, uh, by which i came was late by half an hour which bus you are talking about see in the example the bus the bus by which i came the particular bus in which i have made my journey i am talking about that particular bus it was late by half an hour particular person or thing another example i bought a pen the pen cost me rupees 50 i bought a pen look at the uh, use of the word pen in first sentence in the second sentence we are repeating the word pen the pen which i have used in the first sentence about the same pen i am talking about i am talking about its cost so when a particular word is repeated in our talk or in written english again and again the repeated words they take the article the before them again talking about the uses of article the the is used when it is clear from the situation which people or things we refer to let me repeat it is used when it is clear from the situation which people or things we refer to may i use the computer maybe when asking about the use of computer i am looking at a particular computer or maybe there is only one computer for example in a lab and i am talking about that particular computer so it is very clear to the audience which computer i am talking so article the before it the director is holding a meeting with the principal which director you are talking about our director for example the director of a college so everybody knows the director and that's why article the the director is holding a meeting with the principals principals for example all principals of uh, different colleges under a university so the principals the watchman has come for example the watchman come to a house in a residential society everybody knows who is the watchman so it is very clear which watchman i am talking about and that's why article the will be used before it switch on the pen for example i am sitting on a chair directly under the fan so it is quite clear uh, from the circumstances that i am talking about a particular fan under which i am sitting and that's why it is clear and that's why you we use article the before it the fan next use of article the it is used before a common noun that represents the whole class article the is used before a common noun that represents the whole class my friends you will be knowing what do we mean by a common noun for example ramesh is a proper noun mahesh proper noun jitesh it's a proper noun but when we say student when we uh, identify all these uh, uh, persons ramesh or mahesh or jitesh when we uh, make use of a common noun to identify all of them in a group we make use of the word student or boy so these words student or boy they are known as common nouns so here before a common noun that represents the whole class 
the dog is a faithful animal which dog you are talking about i am talking about all dogs the whole class of dogs the peacock is a beautiful bird the peacock means all peacocks they are beautiful next use of article the the is also used with the following names it is used before the names of gulfs as you can see the persian gulf the bay of bengal it is used before the names of rivers the ganga the yamuna the thames the seen etc before the names of rivers article the is also used before the names of seas and oceans sea the red sea ocean the indian ocean article the it is also used before the names of islands for example the andaman and nicobar islands the lakshadweep islands the british isles names of islands article the is used also before the names of mountain ranges the alps the vindhyas also article the is used before the names of desert the sahara desert the kutch run article the is also used before the names of sacred books gita the gita sacred book for the hindus the bible the bible it's a sacred book for the christians the bible also we make use of article the before great works of literature iliad and odyssey these are the great epics written by greek poet homer and that's why we put article the before them the iliad the odyssey it is also used before uh, the names of trains and ships here are the examples of trains the radhani express the british airways names of flights aeroplanes the article the is also used before famous buildings the golden tap uh, the golden temple situated in amritsar the qutub minar before the names of certain countries we also make use of article the particularly the countries before which we use article the has been listed over here the usa or the united states of america the uk or the united kingdom the netherlands particularly the rule is that when in the name of a country when there is one common noun we generally put article the before it in the given example there is one common noun for example in the word usa states is a common noun and that's why we put article the before it otherwise before the names of other countries like india we do not make use of any article we do not say the india we do not say the germany we do not say the france further article the is also used before the names of whole families the tatas the birlas the khan the is also used before the names of nationalities we don't say the india but we do say the indian we don't say the germany but we do say the german the french the italian the gujarati etc the is also used before the names of newspapers the times of india the hindu the sandesh the divya baskar etc further article the is also used before the names of musical instruments the flute the guitar the sitar the piano etc further article the as we have said earlier it is also used before the names of ships the ashoka the titanic the vikrant let us see further uses of article the the is also used before common nouns which are unique let me repeat common nouns which are unique which are only one in the world the sun the moon the stars 
द अर्थ द सी द ओशन द स्काय द इक्वेटर द नॉर्थ द ईस्ट द ने बिफोर द नेम्स ऑफ डायरेक्शन्स वी ऑल्सो यूज आर्टिकल द द इज ऑल्सो यूज बिफोर सुपरलेटिवस सुपरलेटिवस माय फ्रेंड्स यू माइट बी नोइंग देर आर एजेटिवस एंड देर आर डिग्रीज ऑफ एजेटिवस फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू सम स्टूडेंट वी से दैट ही इज अ टॉल स्टूडेंट ही इज टॉलर देन हर सो द वर्ड टॉलर is more powerful than the word tall adjective tall is more uh, adjective taller is more powerful than the word tall and if we want to show the highest degree of something we use article uh, we use a uh, superlative degree which generally ends with the suffix st or est so in the examples given below the word best most or darkest they are superlatives the word the best the most important the darkest before all these superlatives we make use of article the the is also used before ordinals the first the second the next the last etc what do we mean by ordinals ordinals are words which show order of something the first chapter the first bench the first lecture the second cricket match it shows order of something and that's why it is known as ordinals and before them we put article the the is also used with comparatives in the example given below the word sooner and better these are comparatives sooner better and before them we make use of article the the sooner you reach the better when should i reach the place the sooner the better we say we also say go to the cinema let us go to the cinema let us go to the theater for example we are listening to the radio we say listen to the radio what you are doing i am listening to the radio what you are doing i am surfing the internet so before the word internet we also use article the what you are doing i am watching television before television we don't use any article the is also used before an adjective when the noun is understood let me repeat it is used before an adjective when the noun is understood see the example given below we should help the needy here from the example it looks that the word needy is an adjective before but in this particular sentence it has been used as a noun the needy means the needy people that's why article the will be put before it blets are the ignorant here the word ignorant has been used as a noun blessed are the ignorant the is used in certain fixed idiomatic phrases also like in the wrong you are in the wrong we often say on the contrary we often say on the contrary we often say up to the mark his performance was up to the mark let us also learn friends when should we repeat the article or what do we mean when we repeat the article to understand this particular thing look at the example given below i have a white and a black cat here i have repeated the article a before white and before black so when i repeat article a what do i mean i mean that there are two cats one white and one black do you remember friends in the earlier slide we said that the original meaning of article a is one so here one white and one black so if there are more than two nouns being indicated in a sentence the article is repeated before each noun or each adjective second example i have a white and black cat here the word or article a is used only once 
before the first adjective so what do we uh, what do we mean it means that there is only one cat but its color is partly white and partly black so if there is only one noun the article is used before the first adjective only look at the other examples the clerk and the typist were out of station here article the has been used before the word clerk and the word typist what do we mean we mean that there are two persons the post of clerk is being held by some person by mr x and the post of typist is being held by another person mr y two persons another example the clerk and typist was out of station here the article the has been used before the first noun only it means that only one person is doing both clerical and typing verb there is only one person and that's why article the is used before the first noun only my friends till now we have seen the uses of uh, different articles article a article n and article the we have also seen uh, when the article is being repeated what do we actually mean in the second part of the lecture in which i am going to complete this particular topic i am going to talk about uh, the omission of articles and uh, finally i will be dealing with uh, remaining determiners uh, which are some any much many etc thank you friends